Succeeding Cambridge B1 Preliminary 8 Practice Tests Test 1 This is the Cambridge Assessment English B1 Preliminary Exam. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. For each part of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. Write your answers on the question paper. You will have six minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the answer sheet. The recording will now be stopped. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Part 1. Look at Part 1. Now we are ready to start. For each question, choose the correct answer. 1. How did the woman travel? I'm surprised that you drove all the way to Liverpool from London. Well, actually I decided it would be better not to take the car in the end. Oh really? What made you change your mind? The train doesn't get stuck in traffic jams and I didn't want to be late to meet my husband and kids when they arrived at the harbour. Where are they travelling from? They're coming back from their holiday in Ireland. What time does their ferry arrive? Nine o'clock in the morning. Now listen again. I'm surprised that you drove all the way to Liverpool from London. Well, actually I decided it would be better not to take the car in the end. Oh really? What made you change your mind? The train doesn't get stuck in traffic jams and I didn't want to be late to meet my husband and kids when they arrived at the harbour. Where are they travelling from? They're coming back from their holiday in Ireland. What time does their ferry arrive? Nine o'clock in the morning. Two. What time does the film start? Are we going to the cinema tonight or tomorrow? It's tonight we are going. Don't you remember? No, but tonight is okay with me. What time should we leave the house? Six o'clock, so that we don't have to hurry. That gives us a whole hour until the film starts, and it only takes ten minutes to walk to the cinema. I know, but I thought we could go for a coffee first, now that we got my mum to look after the kids. That's a good idea. We'll also need to buy snacks to take in with us. Now listen again. Are we going to the cinema tonight or tomorrow? It's tonight we are going. Don't you remember? No, but tonight is okay with me. What time should we leave the house? Six o'clock, so that we don't have to hurry. That gives us a whole hour until the film starts, and it only takes ten minutes to walk to the cinema. I know, but I thought we could go for a coffee first, now that we got my mum to look after the kids. That's a good idea. We'll also need to buy snacks to take in with us. Three. What kind of film was it? Sarah, you've got to see this film now showing in the cinema. It's about this teenage boy who falls in love with his friend's older sister, who of course has no idea how he feels and treats him like a child. He tries to let her know what his feelings are and you just feel sorry for him because he gets himself into all kinds of embarrassing situations. I laughed till I cried just about all the way through it. It's not until next week, but we'll be out on DVD next summer. It made me think of our friend James, actually. Now listen again. Sarah, you've got to see this film now showing in the cinema. It's about this teenage boy who falls in love with his friend's older sister, who, of course, has no idea how he feels and treats him like a child. He tries to let her know what his feelings are, and you just feel sorry for him because he gets himself into all kinds of embarrassing situations. I laughed till I cried just about all the way through it. It's not until next week, but we'll be out on DVD next summer. It made me think of our friend James, actually. Four. 
What kind of transportation is the man talking about? May I have your attention, please? I am very sorry to announce that all services to London via Birmingham have been cancelled due to a problem with the tracks caused by the cold weather. This includes the express service from Glasgow. If you already have a ticket, please go to the ticket desk on the ground floor next to the coffee shop, and we will rebook you on a different rail route. Unfortunately, due to the large volume of passengers, you should expect a delay of several hours. Now listen again. May I have your attention, please? I am very sorry to announce that all services to London via Birmingham have been cancelled due to a problem with the tracks caused by the cold weather. This includes the express service from Glasgow. If you already have a ticket, please go to the ticket desk on the ground floor next to the coffee shop, and we will rebook you on a different rail route. Unfortunately, due to the large volume of passengers, you should expect a delay of several hours. Five. Where are the boys' keys? I'm late for school again. Mum, have you seen my keys? Aren't they on the kitchen table where you usually leave them when you get home? No, I looked and they aren't there. You came in yesterday wearing your coat. Have you had a look in your coat pockets? Oh yes, it was very cold. They are probably there. Oh no, they aren't in any of the pockets. Well, what's that in your hand, John? Oops, sorry, Mum. They were there all the time. Now listen again. I'm late for school again. Mum, have you seen my keys? Aren't they on the kitchen table where you usually leave them when you get home? No, I looked and they aren't there. You came in yesterday wearing your coat. Have you had a look in your coat pockets? Oh yes, it was very cold. They are probably there. Oh no, they aren't in any of the pockets. Well, what's that in your hand, John? Oops, sorry, Mum. They were there all the time. Six. Which present is Mark going to buy? I wanted to buy Jane a nice blouse for her birthday, but I'm not sure what size she is or what colours she likes. How about buying her a nice long wool scarf instead of a blouse? Her birthday's in the winter, so something warm would be good. Yeah, you're right. But do you think she'd rather have that than a pair of gloves? I think so. Oh, okay then. I'll ask my mum to take me to town and buy it today. Now listen again. I wanted to buy Jane a nice blouse for her birthday. But I'm not sure what size she is or what colours she likes. How about buying her a nice long wool scarf instead of a blouse? Her birthday's in the winter, so something warm would be good. Yeah, you're right. But do you think she'd rather have that than a pair of gloves? I think so. Oh, okay then. I'll ask my mum to take me to town and buy it today. Seven. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Good morning, and now for the weather in your area. After a rainy start this morning, it will get brighter in the afternoon, although it may be a little windy. As the day progresses, there might be some rain in some areas, but strong winds from the south overnight will blow away these clouds. When you wake up, all the clouds and rain will have disappeared, bringing everyone a very warm day with a lot of sunshine. Join us again this evening after the national news. Now listen again. Good morning, and now for the weather in your area. After a rainy start this morning, it will get brighter in the afternoon, although it may be a little windy. As the day progresses, there might be some rain in some areas, but strong winds from the south overnight will blow away these clouds. When you wake up, all the clouds and rain will have disappeared, bringing everyone a very warm day with a lot of sunshine. Join us again this evening after the national news. That is the end of part one.